In previous versions of ScriptRunner, all members of groups with Jira site admin and Jira admin permissions were able to edit ScriptRunner scripts. They could also add and remove them. In large organisations with tens or hundreds of admins, this could lead to security concerns and potential errors. For example, an existing script could be edited and it would no longer work. With script edit permissions, you can limit access for those with admin permissions. There are two important things to remember. Firstly, all members of groups with Jira site admin can always modify ScriptRunner. Secondly, in order to add a group to script edit permissions, it must already have a Jira admin permission. If it does not, it will not be visible in the suggestion box. I'm creating a user, admin level one. To edit members of a group, I'm going to log in and navigate to the user management tab and click on groups. And then add the user to level one admins group. To set permissions for the group, navigate to system and click on global permissions, where you can select who has permission to edit groups. Here, I am adding Jira admin permissions to this group. I switch to another browser where I'm already logged in as admin level one. Go to script console and execute a simple one plus one script. After that, I'm going back to the previous browser where I'm logged in as a site admin and then enable script edit permissions. The next step, is to switch back to admin level one browser. As you can see on the left hand side, the script console link is missing. This is because admin level one wasn't granted access to script edit permissions. Admin level one can still browse scripts and look through their configuration, but cannot change anything. Next, we will switch back to the browser with site admin permissions and add level one admins to script edit. Then we will go back to admin level one and refresh the page. We'll be able to edit scripts and as you can see, all the fields are editable. We can also access script console and can run custom scripts. The final step is to disable edit script permissions, which will reset script runner to the default state where all members of groups with Jira site admin or Jira admin can modify scripts. There is one more switch to admin level one browser to demonstrate that they are able to access script console and run scripts.